<laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work. Six point five centimeters. Now I got bread in my teeth. I do, I do really miss you guys already. It's only been a month and I miss you guys. So we're back, but um, I, for the first time, am actually gonna try to make this as short and sweet as possible because uh, I would say the biggest update I have is just kind of really like mentally accepting that this is like my duty now and that every month I will be hopping on here to talk to strangers who don't talk back, but I appreciate when they do and I see you and uh, you know, I, I realize this is something that is literally a part of my life for the next two years or so, or just the foreseeable future for now. So really I uh, don't want to overburden myself with work when I've got other things going on and you know, you guys don't need to see a 30 minute plus video every single time. So I truly want to keep this as short as possible here. The reason I'm chewing the bread is because somebody else had commented and mentioned, well, why don't you measure your intermolar distance in your mouth? Which I know a lot of people want to see physical results. And I already really regret not doing this earlier because I started my homeo block journey July of 2022. And I guarantee I would have already seen some growth in numbers that I could have shown you guys on camera. Um, and and I, I'm really upset that I didn't start this earlier. So I know there's other people starting their homeo block journey now, and they're watching these videos and commenting. Please, I urge you, if you are watching this and you're just starting homeo block, try to, you know, feel out your uh, molars as far back as you can on your teeth, measure the distance there. That's what I was trying to do with the bread. That didn't really work out. I'm gonna bite down onto this important, uh, I don't know what this is, 401k or something, whatever. <laughs> you don't need to see this. I can't really fit it. <laughs> Maybe one day it'll fit. Uh, well, that's not a good time. Sorry guys, I am coming off of a cold uh, from last week that just won't quit and I never get sick and so it's weird but uh, it's, it's still lingering in my head, it has been feeling real dreamy and spacey, and so uh, things are a little weird right now. Oh. I think I'm gonna be rocking this uh, shaved face, mustache, Top Gun type look, just so we can see more clearly uh, the physical changes happening, because I get it, you know, I could sit here and talk to you guys and just say things and, and it doesn't do anything for you. I get that people wanna see physical changes and they wanna actually see something. So, this is not crystal meth. I'm not breaking bad. I'm not enjoying the taste. So this is Mastic Chewing Gum. The brand that you get it from doesn't really matter. Oh, you know, they say it's flavorless, but flavorless actually has a flavor and it's not very good. It's sugar free is the most important part. And it's like a hard gum. I've been in this craniofacial orthotropic facial development community in a while. And people use this mastic gum stuff to exercise their jaws, you know, just chew on both sides. And, uh, the reason I started chewing mastic gum again after a long while of not doing that is so that I could start to train my jaw so that we could see more clearly physical changes happening in my mouth while I'm on this homeo block journey. And again, I'm sure people will say, well, you know, if you're growing your jaw, it might be because you started chewing that gum all the time. Maybe it wasn't because of the homeo block, but I think it's just there to really help along with the journey. I wouldn't say if I start to have a, a more defined jawline, it's 
only because of that mastic chewing gum chewing exercise that I'm going to start doing now. Because, um, you know, somebody had asked in one of the comments, they said, oh, so you're expanding your upper palate, your upper mid face area, your maxilla. They said, do you have plans to expand your jaw, the lower part of your face, your mouth? The idea is that when expanding your upper palate, your lower jaw will follow along. I'm gonna take this out. The inventor of the homeoblock, Ted Belfour, had mentioned that through expanding the upper jaw area, the upper maxilla face area, your lower jaw kind of follows along with it. If you think about uh, growing in your early teen years, you're not just like growing your arms first and then growing your legs second. Maybe it happens for some people, but generally your whole body grows together at the same time. So it's not like you'd have a bigger upper head and a smaller, lower, tiny jaw. But now with chewing this nasty crystal meth looking gum, uh, I think I'm gonna be able to start to see more of a defined tone. Uh, I really don't have many huge updates. I guess one of the bigger updates uh, the only update besides like kind of that is the fact that um, when I put the homeo block in my mouth, it doesn't cover the entire palate. It's not like all I could feel at the top of my mouth is homeo block. It kind of covers the front half of your palate. So your upper front palate, but more like halfway. One of the only things I've kind of noticed in this past month is that when I put the homeo block up there, it seems like there's more room in the back of my palate. So it could be a sign that my palate is actually growing forward, uh, but basically it kind of feels like there is more room in there. Besides that, really not too many crazy updates. Uh, I wanted to measure my mouth that didn't work out too great. I'm gonna be chewing gum going forward so that you could see facial changes happening. And uh, besides that, uh, you know, some of the people had left comments saying that their homeo block provider had suggested not doing one big crank every month, but instead doing like a quarter of a little crank every week. And the idea is that you're bone and can your bone can grow uh, more easily that way rather than being like pressed on and then expanding the idea is that you're expanding little by little and expanding as in like you know pushing that bone and having it grow out on you truthfully i'm gonna be honest i don't think the bone i don't know if human bone grows that fast i don't know if if literally your bone can grow every week. I don't know, and I'm not discrediting anybody, and I'm very curious. And I probably will start that next month. Rather than doing one big turn, I'm gonna do like a quarter turn every, uh, every week next month. So I'll start that next month, and we'll look back and see how that went. I'm not too sure. I'm wondering if anybody has like kids, you know, or, you know, uh, teens like well i guess if anybody has kids like like how fast do their bones grow like i i don't really know like a baby i know they have that like flimsy arms like it's hardly bone and then like how fast are they all of a sudden like i don't know i, I don't know if the human body could really grow that fast but um i will try to expand every week in the next video or after next month and uh yeah this is a short one just to let you guys know i'm still here i see you i miss you i hear you i love hearing from you guys i love your comments and questions please ask away shout away even if it doesn't have anything to do with homeo block please feel free to say it on my channel and i'd gladly just have a little conversation with you and that's really about it for this time that's all guys thanks so much